Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are in our life pod here. Um, what we're doing is we're trying to get a handle on how we're going to survive in this world, picking up clues of, of the other survivors that might be there, and also as as kind of viewers trying to understand the story of who uh, this Altera ship what what it was doing, what it was building, why it was there, and any of the politics involved within that. We found the Degasi Crew Manifest, which was a search and rescue mission um, of Bart Torgel of, of the Torgel Corporation. So he's been lost here somewhere, um, and he was a beneficiary of enhanced learning techniques and cerebral implants. Um, and also there was Marguerite Maeder, who was the security personnel protecting Paul Torgel. So we'll find out more about them. That's a different ship altogether. So we're, 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 we're on this planet somewhere. Um, also, let's look in the, this area here. What have we got? So there's this LifePod 6 transmission origin. So a distress signal has been received from LifePod 6, but the attached coordinates were corrupted. Last available photographic data has been downloaded and analysed. Crew requests assistance navigating radiation sunk to approximately 100 metres. Located in an area dense with red grass near a number of natural arches and rock stacks. 400 metres west-northwest of Life Pod 4's last known location. So we haven't found Life Pod 4. I don't believe. But if we do, we will have some bearing but we have seen red grass now i must uh, apologize because it has been a good while since i've recorded subnautica and invariably what happens is i forget the uh what's happening where we are what we're doing um so it might take a little while to get back into the swing of things but we've got all these items we're doing all right there I had a few uh, comments in uh, the recently released videos talking about um, the bladder fish that we're picking up to to, to um, convert to to water to a water source. Now th their population is not indefinite; <laughs> um, they will uh, die off if we continue to farm them. Now, if we look at the blueprints for the equipment. We can do here. We can make filtered water from the blood and fish, but it's a good idea to try and sort out the disinfected water. And how we make bleach is through salt deposits and coral coral tube samples. So, what we were investigating was with southwest of the Aurora. So I'm going to continue back there because we we went to some depths to uh how do you just get rid of what's in your hand okay well we need this anyway so let's head southwest back over this way keeping an eye out for some coral tubes some are right here um Now, do we kind of, can we deplete the coral tubes or is this pretty much infinite? If we have a look in here. Oh, wow. We have used up everything here. We've got this jelly mushroom spores. Goodness me. All right. Well, come on. Let's organize ourselves. Come on, wolf. Let's have a think about how we can uh, deplete this. Let's look at um, the jelly mushroom spores. Let's find out about those. Um... What? What are you? Something barks at me then. It is your primary directive to swim closer to the Oh, it's one of these things. Um Oh, it's it, it's get me in. I need to kill it. Oh. Yes, what was one of those? <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, that was... Let's have a look here. A mesmer. A 
small carnivorous life form with a unique hung- hunting mechanism that enables it to hypnotize its foes. <laughs> So assessment, draw closer. It even it even inflicts the uh, the data bank. That's how that's how much it changes your brain waves to do its will. And as you get closer, it it bites you. Okay, what were we doing? What were we doing? We were having a look in here. So one of these, one of these. Let's swim to the surface. We're right near it. So that's the story. One of these is for kind of samples. We've got lots of those coral ch tubes. That's good. Oh, it's another one of these things. Um... We need some salt, which we haven't got at the moment. So let's just send a few of these in there. Oh. And, and what we're gonna, what, what is that? Oh, it's one of these things. I thought they were fairly inert, but they seem to be coming nearer. Oh, it's another one of these mesmer bitches. Oh, bit me again. Did I kill it? I seem to have killed it. Right, we're a bit low on health, so let's see what we've got in the way of health. Uh, we've got a first aid, just, let's just use that. Oh, didn't want to drop it, no. Did you use it? Okay, I think we want to try and make another one of these storage containers. Oh, we've also got a message. That's curious. All right, we'll play that in a minute. Do bear with me, folks, please. I'm a little bit at odds what we're going to be going to do in this episode. But let me just get my ducks in a row. I would like one of... One of these. No? Where are these storage units? So we need titanium. We've got lots of silicon rubber, but we haven't got as much titanium. We've got three. We've got plenty of space in here, so I'm just gonna put a couple of these in here. Jelly, jelly shroom spores, which I don't think have given me Maybe they have. So, uh, mm, fauna, flora, sea, drooping snow, jelly shrooms. A life form unique to a microcosm located in the cave system deep within the grassy plateaus where a high concentration of carnivorous life forms wards off smaller predators. Um, unknown effects, possibly symbolic, symbiotic relationship. Membrane structure suggests vulnerable abilities for predation. So we haven't got a use for these jelly shroom bitches yet. So what I'm going to do is just drop them. I'm just going to drop you. I'm going to drop more of these. And back up here. Put more of the titanium in there, and then we'll listen to the message. Let's put the lead in there as well. Okay, we're all good. We've got cured fish here. If we want some war food, which we don't, but we do need some water. Dang. Yeah, we need to think about that pretty quick. Um, yes, yeah, salt deposits. Hmm. Right, 
I think we can find salt deposits in caves. Let's sort our water source and then we'll come and listen to that radio message. Or we could just sort of get some bladder fish for the moment. Here you can, here you can. There you go. Let's just get one or two bladder fish just to keep the wolf just keep the wolf from the door, is the saying. We'll keep the wolf from starving of thirst. Yeah, we're going to do that. And then we're going to listen to some messages, get some lore, get some stories. Come on, bloodfish. Take what we need. Leave no trace, take what we need. That's the rules of the land. Get up, my pod, into my hatch. Listen to my message after we have had some water to quench our thirst. Then we can understand the world. Yeah, yeah. Gonna understand the world, yeah. Gonna drink my drink. Gonna eat my fish. Gonna eat my motherfucking Gary fish. And then I'm gonna go and listen to the radio. Hey ho. Listen to the radio, yeah. This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't want us. This might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim looking snake thing is trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already. Signal location uploaded to PDA. We from, heard from Ozzy. He was the guy who did something. Uh, he was a ca cafe shop owner, he was one of the sort of support crew staff regalia. Uh, data downloads, no. Come on. Was it Aussie? Aussie? Yeah, Aussie's log. It's the day of the crash. I don't know what the heck is happening. I'm scared and I'm not going outside. There are shadows in the water under the hatch, but I can't tell if it's rocks or aliens and there's weird looking caves nearby. Um, everything needs to build a phase gate, yes. And he was. Uh, his cafe was there. Okay. It didn't. So it's, uh, it's given us uh, a locale which is over here, 400 meters. And that is kind of in the general direction that we were going. God, still low on water, mind. Okay. On our way, we're gonna try and find these salt deposits, if at all possible. We might just for kicks get a Gary fish or two. Table coral. Okay, well, let's scan this bitch. In fact, where is our scanner? It's not gonna let us. What are you? You don't shouldn't be around here, boys. You hang out with the kelp. Beastly bastards. Okay, speaking of kelp, let's go back through and try and find these salt deposits. I'm not doing too well on the waterfront, it has to be said. Titanium, well, we will take you because that will allow us to create a bit more space. Inventory space. Without our vehicle. What have we got down here? Beastly beast. Oh, silver ore. What's this? Yes, salt deposit. I could deal with a couple more salt deposits if I'm honest with you. Mobile vehicle bay. New blueprint synthesized. We will look at that. Lead. Just, I'm not going to fill up our inventory too much, just in case. There's some more. There's some more here. Right. Yeah. 
Okay, let's make this bleach. Let's make this mofoing bleach. 30 seconds. We will stand here whilst we have a look around. Ooh, there's a bit more titanium material down there. Ready to install? We're already installed. We're going. We're there. Maybe there's an update I didn't know about. 30 seconds. Uh, vehicle bay fragment. Okay, it gave us it gave us stuff, didn't it? There, because we already had it. Okay, up we go. Well, I haven't really explored fully the bottom of this kelp forest, these creep vine part forest. Oxygen. But on our way back, I just want to see if there is some more. Why, why aren't we doing this? I wonder. That was a bit of salt there. That's it. So we've got three, th three opportunities here. Right, let's go. It's amazing how it shows the topography of the area, isn't it? Almost, kind of almost you can discern the cave systems, but not really. Yeah, I can tell this is the type of series where, you know, in some periods it's just, you're just getting your ducks in a row, fast and frenetic. Uh, sorry, just ducks in a row and you're slowly just getting the ingredients together to get what you need. Planning your, your, the way you do things. And speaking of planning, the way we do things, we have this um, habitat builder which I haven't touched yet. And to be honest, I'm quite scared of, of how it works because seemingly we've got all these different uh base pieces and how they go together and what they mean is is you know it's it's, it's really quite harrowing to understand to fathom right bleach we need that coral tube sample of course we do Of course, we do. So just one of each, there we go. So we should have three bleaches. Three bleaches to uh, get our water going and maybe save one for our assholes. There we go without a nice bleached asshole. Right. Suck my water. Consume. So that consumes 30. So two of those will get we where we need to be. Food wise, uh, we've got a boomerang, but let's cook that. And just eat that for now, and then we can just find some more food. That will keep the wolf from the door. We got some cured Gary fish down there. That's just 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 going to keep us just keep it at bay, keep it locked up till lunch. Okay, okay. Right, what are we doing? What are we doing? We're going to go and investigate that new pod, aren't we? Here we go. So we're heading west, whereas the red kelp forest was over there, southwest. The red sort of, you know, um, area where we, we dipped down quite uh, quite deep. We came across those jelly dudes. Okay, we've already done that one, I believe, but let me just double check this. Yes, we have. Mm. 
we have seen these, haven't we? These are... I've seen these, lad. Hoopfish. We'll, we'll do a mass reading at some point. Let's do a self-scan while we're at it. Infected. What are we infected with? Ah! Are we infected? Because of the explosion of the Aurora. As I remember now, they, they released this radiation suit. But we need fibre mesh, and we don't know how to create fibre mesh yet. In our wanderings and our travels, we've not come across what that might be. Thank you for that tip about the uh, about the bladder fish. I would have uh, been quite concerned had I put its population in danger. I wonder how sort of knife edge that is. Whether it's just sort of slows down a bit, or you really are bang in trouble because you've eaten everything. I've done that creature. Out. Oh, what are you? <laughs> oh, you're you're absolute. That is an, that's a biter, you don't say. And, okay, we're near this forest now. Is that then? No, that's 17. That's life pod 17. We're looking for life pod five, and it's around an area of red kelpiness. Life pod six. Now, what are these? <gasps> they look beastly, don't they? I, I think we've seen seen these before. Yeah, they they come up. Oh my days! What the hell's fire? What are you? Look at you. Um, look, it's got things growing on it. They're that slow moving that it's got its own biosphere. And there's a the little baby one. It's a reef back, that's what it is. It's a ruddy reef back. An indigenous life form, a reef back leviathan. Wow. Oh dear, I've got something after me. Something doesn't like me. What's that? That looks... Oh, it's throwing things at me! A tiger plant. Alright, we're going we're to go and read all these, I think. Uh, that's table coral, we've got plenty of that. This I haven't seen before. A, reg a regress shell. Come, should we... Sh should we bloody hit it with a... With an open faced blade? Just take two of you. We're not greedy, you see, with our inventory. Um, do you think we should have a little bang on this one, though? No. No. No, we shouldn't. Throwing out these amazing darts. Okay, we're fairly near that aur aurora. That'll be alright. It's only thermonuclear. Right, we will go down and see an Aussie in a minute, but we've got these new life forms, all fauna that we have discovered. Now this biter, this was a testy beast. Tiny little red thing. It's got two sort of eyes on the side of it with a, a tentacle on top. Maybe some kind of... Uh, at night it attracts things like a, is it an anglerfish? Big old teeth. So the biter is a vicious pack hunting predator. 94% muscle, 4% connected tissue, 2% brain. That reminds me of myself. 
Indiscriminate when hungry, almost always hungry. Reminds me of myself. Specialised olfactory antenna employed in detection of bodily fluids in the water at impressive range. Reminds me of myself. Secondary pair of eyes, likely dedicated to detecting the peripheral movement of larger predators and hungry members of its own species. It's got an overdeveloped tail fin, which favours outpacing and outnumbering their prey over individual manoeuvrability. Calculations suggest creatures up to 100 times the biter's body weight could succumb to a focused assault by a pack of 10. Avoid packs. Try not to bleed. That goes without saying. So these are small herbivores. We found a hoop fish. Yeah, we have seen plenty of those about. This isn't new to, to us, but it's kind of a purple with a, a clear membrane with a, a green piping around it. Quite pretty, really. So it's small with a school mentality prey fish with a unique method of propulsion and a distant relative of the bladder fish. Okay, I wonder if um, they offer any... Um, any water. So rather than swimming, this life form uses the fine green antenna which encircling its bodies to alter the composition of the water in front of it, allowing it to sail. Um, the purple green coloration may be a camouflage ad adaptation for a mid range light wavelengths, possibly indicating the hoop fish is more active at dawn and dusk. Oh, well, it's dusk now. While schools of hoop fish will form periodically and evade predators en masse, this behaviour is more social than it is defensive, and lone hoop fish are often found hunting for food and displaying generally curious behaviour. Sounds like me. Now, this big old bugger a reef back leviathan enormous it was slow looks a bit like a, a jellyfish but also it kind of looks quite science fictiony um yeah the vast life form is in excess of 30 meters long and it has been de designated leviathan class fortunately it feeds exclusively on plankton like life forms in the water so chitinous Chit what's chitinous shell? Most of the life form's top side and some of its underside is protected by a thick layered exoskeleton. This suggests an evolutionary path quite different from other organisms on 4546b, most of which are vertebrae in nature. The reefback species has likely been able to grow for larger than other herbivores because anything large enough to break through its shell has long since gone extinct. Wow. Enzyme pods. Similar in appearance to the algae glands of the gasopod, these organs on the reefback's underside serve some unknown purpose in its digestive system and are capable of expelling small quantities of stomach enzymes into surrounding water. What does it do that for then? So it digests its food and then mops it up? An array of different barnacle and plant species grow on the reefback's shell, we saw that, thrusting their roots into the ancient scars in the chitin. Chitin, or however you pronounce it, and taking advantage of their mobility to avoid predation. Nonetheless, reefbacks will often be pursued by the faster, hungrier herbivores. Really? And thus, this levine species is a mobile microcosm worthy of years of study in itself. Reefbacks' lifespans likely extend through many centuries, should they survive their initial growth cycle. For the first few decades, their smaller size would make them vulnerable to carnivorous leviathans so maybe that the one we scanned was a smaller size one and and it's uh, still you know open to the, the predations predacious elements so it's seen traveling in small pods and communicating by an echoing call behavior is consistent with low level sentience so it's sort of uh, as clever as perhaps a whale or, or a dolphin so it harbours plants, small fish, and metal-rich barnacles. Okay, so it's just basically a, a, a green, a mobile green grocer. <laughs> a mobile green grocer of of, of, of items. Yes, yeah, so let's, let's look at the underside. There's these sacks, that, so it releases from here the uh, the enzymes it's talking about. Let's see if it's got any genitalia. I wonder how it... Oh, I think we're getting there. Well, that looks like teeth to me. That looks like, like some kind of teeth, or it could be an arsehole. Mm -hmm. 
Wow. Very cool. Where were we? Let's get let's grab some uh, oxygen and then let's let's head and hear about Ozzy some more maybe. So he was um, stranded near a case and under attack by a large beastie. What's that? Rouge Cradle. A complex cave dwelling flora specimen. The bright yellow core of this plant is protected by a rigid cage. And we've also got this tiger plant that flew out threw out these needles. It looks like a um you know, a penis. A very sort of multicoloured striped penis. Uh, this plant has adapted to sense fluctuations in the water at up to 15 meters. Okay, so we can't get that close. And is capable both of prehensile movement of its tubes, as well as propelling of thorns at speeds of up to 10 meters per second. Although capable of incapacitating small herbivores, this plant lacks carnivorous digestive organs. Would be predators caused in its defensive perimeter serve as a warning to other herbivores not to approach. And as they decompose, they serve as fertilizers for the tiger plants. Excellent specimen. What? Oh, that was a, a school of fish. It's, I thought it was a larger, larger animal. But I did not like it. Well, there's some wreckage down here on the way to this life pod, so let's not put this to waste. I've got to remember to get a bit of. Passing 100 meters. There Oxygen we go. Efficiency decreased. What have we got around here? Not much. Although there is this. Oh, 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 Yes, I evaded you, didn't I? Did I? Ah! I think I did evade it. <laughs> right, we're very near this grass. Ah! What is this? Have we been here before? I'm not sure we've we've been here before or not. I think we have. But let's not. We haven't got a cutting tool yet. Thirty seconds. Okay. All right. Apologies if we've already been here, but I can't let it slide because there might be good stuff in there. Oxygen. Um, I might get rid of a couple of these, you know. One of those for now. Right. Let's try and be a bit, a bit quicker. All manner of things around the place. But they're, they're empty, which suggests maybe we, we have been here. Here we go. Maybe we haven't. not been here. Hmm. Right, what is there? Let's get our scanner out. Open supply crate. Thank you. Water. Very, very nice. Very, very good. Right, we've got that mobile vehicle bay fragment, so that has just given us some resources as a little, a little thank you. Right, let's get out of here. What's that? What else we got? What's this? Thirty seconds. Yes, okay, 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 okay. Oh god. Keep getting distracted. We will come and see you, Ozzy. We will. Oxygen. 
That's a long way up, isn't it? 20 meters. Okay. Couple of minutes. Couple of minutes to come and see this. Right, so let's utilize this. This beast. Oh, there's, there's, there's things over there, look. We've seen those before. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Here we go. Don't need quartz. Right, what have we got? Not much. Nothing in there. Uh, nothing over here. Nothing to scan. Anything outside? Ah, we've got we've got a path. It looks like we've got some kind of footprints. What on earth? How, what are we doing? So we, we've come here, but where is? What's it giving us? What's it giving us? Not a lot. Maybe because we've been here before, maybe? Did we did, did we happen upon this in a, a few episodes ago? Maybe we did. Lead. Now, this is quite... Massive. Special equipment is required to collect this resource. Is it one of is it one of these? No. It's a massive salt deposit. Right. Uh, that looks like a new bit to me. So let's go and grab that. And that might be the one we've already seen as well, you know. I think we've already been here. But let us double check. So I'm hoping that we can develop some kind of system where we can mark where we've been as we go. That would be really, really helpful. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. So we're, we're given 135 seconds, but whether that, that is true to the depth we're at at the time is another, is another question entirely. But this is part, a part of the uh, aurora. Right, I'm, I'm being harassed and harangued by what I don't know. You pee off, whatever you are. Oh. That is a scanner room fragment. Piss off, piss off, piss off. 30 seconds. All right, we'll have to go back up now, I think. I don't know if that has any interior we can grab. It looks like it might do in that section of the of the wreckage. Right, I might have to think about food at some point. stuffed. Right. Right, the, 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 these are arches, okay? Now, if there is a life, we're looking for life pod six, and it's around the sort of red grass area, 
There's something else here. I think that's a grav trap. What, what, what were you? I haven't seen you before. Doesn't, doesn't want to let us. Oh. There's a bioreactor fragment. And that we've already got. It's rewarding us, but it's saying, come on, change the record. We've seen you before. Villa Bleu. Right, this is probably the wrong time to do this, but let's, let's avoid these and let's just go up and grab some air and then come back down. So in my brain at the moment, well, I am sort of thinking, thinking. Let's let's just do that one here. Come on, come on, come on. Vital signs stabilizing. Good, 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 good. Thinking about the blueprint for this radiation suit, I think that's fairly important. But we need this fiber freaking mesh, which we don't know how to do. We've picked up lead. But it's the fi it's the fiber mesh we're after. No, where's that? Where's that hole we went down over here? Let's try and s see what we're up to. What are you? Well, it's a good job there's no none of those kamikaze biatches. We've got some nice gold, some red wart. Creature egg. Now we're, we're not so concerned about creature eggs at the moment, as you know. Well, it's just a little mini cave, but what we have done is invited ourselves into the belly of the beast. Calorie intake recommended. Thirty seconds. Yeah, we will. We will. For the moment, right, let's just have another quick look in there. Yeah, I think with the with the Aussie thing, it came back to it, but we'd already jumped the gun and we'd found it organically. So it was a it was a disappointment when we arrived. So to the left of here, let's have a little look around here. Passing 100 meters, oxygen efficiency decreased. Plenty of things. Let's get a few more of these. Oh, we can't. What, what, what have we got in our inventory here? Get rid of. I might get rid of um, one of these. Try and pick up that salt. I'll get my bearings again. Kind of aimlessly looking around here, just trying to have a look. See if we can. We've missed anything. Thirty seconds. Kind of really going into the deep there. I don't think it's a good idea to go that far. I think we're going to die as well. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> yes. Okay. What should we do? Let's go back and regroup a little bit. Maybe craft a few of the things we want to craft. So we've, we've had a good look at that. We've had a good look at these beasts. We've seen Life Pod 17. What's that? Is that scrap? It's a sea moth fragment. So we need, we need another one of those and then we've got a sea moth, whatever that is. Through the fine creep vines. Because I heard it on the creep vine. I'm just about to lose my mind. Load me up with your oxygen. Load me right, right, sir. Let's have a think about this base building. I don't know, maybe we need to head back towards that drop-off area. Emergency. Starvation imminent. Seek calorie intake immediately. Okay, well we need to just get a few of these dudes, don't we? Just a few. On our way. Cook you up real nice. Get you on that grill. Just cook you up real nice. <laughs> Seeming we've got another message as well. thinking too much about food. Food seems to last a long time with food, doesn't it? Right, we've got the tight end. Let's get some more bleach. Let's make some more titanium. Um, pink water. We're going to test out that um, floating air pump at some stage with the pipes, but we're not that really sure what I'm doing with them. That's what we want is a waterproof locker. Very good, very nice. Okay. Play to me. This is Sunbeam. You know Aurora. We're from a little transgov on the far side of Andromeda, and we have a saying there. There's no bad without the good, no good without the bad. Sounds like you tasted a bunch of the former, but that only means you're overdue a whole lot of the latter. Might just be we're in. We're scanning for somewhere to park. We'll be in touch when we find it. Sunbeam out. I sense a bad end to this uh, rescue mission from Sunbeam. So the Avery Quinn of the trading ship Sunbeam, he's trying to con he was trying to contact Aurora. And he was cursing Altera for not answering after sending SOS. And he's a week away on the other side of the system and wants to make sure the journey will be worth it. Um, and then, so he's realised that it's crashed. He realises it's a bad omen and he's on his way. Uh, 
Okay. Now. We scan this red wart. It's a common plant adaptable to many different environments. The red wart is a stable part of the diet of many herbivores. Well, well done you. Geological data. Sandstone outcrops. These common porous outcrops seems to form around small amounts of precious metals, or otherwise these metals are part of a sedimentary buildup over time. So that's when we get the lead, silver and gold resources. So we found the life cord 14, which is o Aussie. He was attacked by a beast, and this crew, and he was an, an engineer, and he was worried. And we still don't know where this is. Life pod six. If we can find life pod four, we're in business, but not before then. Okay, let's go and start a new one of these. Okay, so this one. Calorie intake recommended. That's empty. That's empty. That's full of ore and stuff. And this is empty. It used to be full of biomaterial. That's it. So let's put that in there. And the rest. I was going to keep titanium in the main hull. What should we use in here? We could just use this as a titanium beast. Um, or for precious metals. What, what did I use that one for? That was for precious metals as well. Maybe this is just, just, just an overflow. Oh, what have I done? Maybe this is just an overflow for the precious metals. Silver and gold. And we'll keep the salts for our water. We've got plenty of water. Okay, well, let's just mop up a few fish. Not bladders. And then let's cook up a, cook up a feast. Oh, I let it go. <laughs> Jeepers, creepers, where do you get those peepers? Jeepers, creepers, where do you get that Leviathan class beast? Seems to be stuck. There it is, mate. Oh, stay away, my friend. They're quite ably. Uh, we were quite able to sort of avoid them with a quick move around, don't we? Where are you? Where are you? I just. I just got you. Where are you gone? Oxygen. Okay, we've got, we've got enough food. Just grab this last peeper, and then we'll go back and cook up a cook up a feast. Oh shit! 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 We can make some cured food because we've got salt. So that's what we'll do with that because that will keep. I don't think we need anything to keep though because we're, we're quite hungry. A hungry little boy. Right, so let's eat that and then let's make a plan of what we're going to do. Consume. Vital Consume. Stabilizing. We'll keep that for now. We could probably afford to take another one of these. And of course. This is regularly replenished. So let us have that. And now we're ready to uh, take on this world. <laughs>